All right, so I woke up super early, packed up my gear, changed, and headed out to the airport a little before 5 a.m. Traffic was a breeze to the airport. I made it to the gate on time, despite going through TSA with all of my electronics. Then I boarded the most cutest small plane I've ever ridden. And in about 20 minutes or so, we then arrived in the friendly isle of Molokai. To get to Kalapapa, one mode of transportation is to hike in. We checked in, signed a waiver, and received a permit, which were our wristbands, and then drove to the trailhead. We also had a written permit. Those who hike the trail to Kalapapa without a permit can get sighted or arrested. This hike is about 3 miles down and it consists of 27 switchbacks. The trail is pretty wide but it's a cliff trail so there are a lot of steep drop offs on the side. I'd say this trail is more of an intermediate type of hike. There were just a bunch of stairs, stairs and more stairs. I was already dreading to climb back up after our tour. So we're more than halfway. Halfway down. So it's about 9.20 and we started hiking around like 8.30. And we're greeted to these the, to this nice beautiful black beach. Um, so we're just about done with the switchback. Now we're just walking towards the settlement. Can't wait to see what it's all about. I know I heard it's such a magical place because it's full of history, especially with the story of all the the leprosy uh, patients and just how isolated this town is because you can't go here uh, by car you have to either swim here or come here by boat or hike this trail just to get to this area so can't wait to see what this little town is like There was certainly something special about Kalapapa. You could feel a mana or power in this beautiful but once broken place. It is such a historical site. I was honored to experience this place and there's certainly no words to describe the feeling here. Lush, deep valleys with majestic sea cliffs shroud Kalapapa. Black sand beaches stretch for miles marked only by the winds leaving no footprints thousands were buried across the peninsula and most of them are not identified two loving saints father damien and mother marianne were among the humanitarians who sacrificed their lives for those stricken with the disease this untouched settlement tells its story without even saying a word. The mana and history is so strong here. The experience moves you.
it was a really nice place. Again, you could feel like the mana, the, the aura of just how special this place in Molokai is. We're just so blessed with the weather because it's not sunny, but it was cloudy, but in a way where we, we were still able to see views. And there's a lot of trade wind. So we're very fortunate with the kind of conditions we have today going into Kalapapa, even coming out right now. I don't know if you see it, but the switch, the switch back number, the switchback number has a picture. And it could be Father Damien or maybe one of the people who had leprosy or one of the other uh, famous people that helped out in Kalapapa.